Hi, today we will try to highlight the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Some of my students say to me, Sir, why do we include rice, wheat, sugar, etc. in uncountable nouns? Because it is mathematically possible to count them. Well, logically, the students are right in their point of view. But there is something that needs to be thought of before we reach a conclusion. Let's discuss that something. First of all, we will talk about countable nouns. Whether single or plural, they can be counted. Boys are countable and each boy in a class has his own identity and a name. Each book in a pile of books has its own identity or a binding, etc. Those things which have separate names and identities on individual levels can be and should be treated as countable nouns. These are the examples of countable nouns. Number one, I own three books. Each book has a name, a separate binding, etc. Number two, I took three photographs of him. I can see his different poses in each one of them. Number three, did you have ten candles? Out of these ten candles, each candle stands as an independent noun as well. Now comes the turn of uncountable nouns. Let's define uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Oh, it is very difficult to count them. Oh, it is not worth counting them. It doesn't make sense to count the grains of rice or grains of sand, etc. Does it? Use of singular verb with uncountable nouns. We should always use singular verbs with uncountable nouns. There's no more water in the pond. This sentence is grammatically correct because we have used a singular verb is with an uncountable noun water. There are no more water in the pond. That is obviously wrong because here a plural verb are has been used with a singular uncountable noun water. Second example, sugar was in abundance here. A correct sentence. Sugar were in abundance here. It's a wrong sentence because the use of a plural verb with an uncountable noun is incorrect. Some examples of uncountable nouns are rice, sugar, wheat, sand, etc. Remember, each grain of wheat or rice doesn't have its own separate identity or name on individual level. That's why counting rice doesn't make any difference to them. They are rice or a grain of rice. The name and identity remain the same. On the contrary, a boy in a class has a separate identity and name or individuality as well. So, we count a boy or we count boys in a class because each one of them has a separate identity or name. Rice is an uncountable noun because grains of rice do not stand alone as a separate nouns and don't have separate identities or names. The same is the case with other uncountable nouns like wheat, sand, etc. Rice is always rice. We will call it rice or a grain of rice. It doesn't have any individuality. That's why we don't include rice, wheat and sand etc. in countable nouns and treat them as uncountable nouns. How do we measure uncountable nouns? We measure uncountable nouns with certain units. For example, a cup of milk, a kg of sugar, a glass of water, a bag of rice, etc. I think you must have an idea now of which things are to be included in countable nouns and which of them are to be included in uncountable nouns and why we include them in uncountable nouns. If you have any question, you are more than welcome to ask me in the comments section. I will try my level best to answer you in a convincing manner. Thank you so much for listening to me. Take care. Bye.